Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So today we will be preparing a shepherd's pie. We're gonna get straight into it. So right here I have some potatoes. Let's add some water. Allow this to cook for about 30 to 45 minutes until they become nice and tender. Okay guys, so I am gonna start off with some olive oil. My pan has been heating up. It is pretty hot. And I'm gonna add some garlic and onions. I'm going to saute that until it becomes nice and translucent. Adding in my ground beef and continue chopping it up. Uh, you're going to see that the temperature is going to go down because there's a lot of meat in the pan. So you can give it a minute to pick back up before you start chopping the rest of it. So I'm gonna put a little spin on this, add some jerk seasoning to this, so about a tablespoon. Some garlic powder, onion powder, some cumin. So before we add salt, let this cook to make sure it's not too salty with the jerk seasoning before we go ahead and add that extra salt. So mix everything together. And just continue to let this cook. Tomato paste, so about two tablespoons. Some peas and carrots to this as well. After you mix in the tomato paste, you can go ahead and add in the peas and carrots. Then once that's all in, and you have the seasonings all in there, and it tastes exactly how you want it to taste, you are all done. Now we have to move on to the mashed potatoes. This is seasoned perfectly and at this point add your flour. The flour is gonna thicken everything up. So you don't have no runny meat going on over there. So that's about two tablespoons and that should be enough. I always do this guys. I always forget to put the most important stuff in my dish. I'm in that rosemary that I just added in there. And this is gonna be so delicious guys. Okay guys, so the potatoes are all done. Turn off your stove because we're just gonna mash them and Some butter, some salt and pepper. Um, you see this? This is roasted garlic. I love adding roasted garlic to my potatoes. They add so much flavor. And throw about three cloves in here. Add some Parmesan cheese and also some half and half. So we're gonna start off with the meat. We're leaving enough space for the potatoes. This is exactly what we want. And layer it with some cheese. If you're not for the cheese, you can skip this part, but come on, who does not like cheese? All mashed potatoes. You can find many more recipes at lessycuisine.com.